The Gulf Coast is home to a wide variety of marine life, and from the murky waters of my home state to the inland grass beds of Florida, there are some bizarre creatures that go overlooked by most people. Now what I'm looking for in these little inland marshes is things that really can't get away from me fast. Turtles, crustaceans, and there's a lot of cool species out here, especially pufferfish, and they're gonna be hiding all up in these grasses this time of the day. Now we're also seeing a lot of stingrays, which I really need to be careful not to step on. This is their breeding season and there's gonna be a ton of them out here. But other than them, not too many hazards out here. Just a lot of really cool aquatic creatures to see. These grass beds work almost like nurseries for young marine creatures, which rely on camouflage and a lack of predators to survive. As long as I can avoid stepping on these Atlantic rays, I figured working this bank would be a great way to find seahorses, horseshoe crabs, pufferfish, and a whole stack of different cool animals. And it didn't take too long before we found a crazy fish. Check this out. Hey bud, Ooh, these guys are not quick. Might even be able to pick him up. Yeah, look at that. It's a burfish. Oh my goodness, look at him. These are a relative of the porcupine fish. They're actually in the porcupine fish family. This is a striped burfish. Now striped burfish, as y'all saw from that, they're not a very fast fish. In fact, I can kind of hold him up like this. And they're a little square thing. Bro, look at how derpy he is. Yes. Look at his little flippers. He's trying to get away. They've got such a human face. Reminds me of Blub. Oh, it's him. It's all fish. I want to give him a carrot. Oh. You might wonder, well, how does this fish protect itself from predators? And the truth of the matter is, nothing wants to eat this fish. They're covered in little spines. And like I said, they're in the porcupine fish family, but they're not a porcupine fish. They're a burr fish. They're kind of the in-between of a puffer fish and a porcupine fish. And the thing that defines that is their spines don't actually puff out. Their spines are fixed and they just stay in the same spot even as they puff up their body. Now I'd really prefer him to not puff up as that's just a sign that he's really stressed and doesn't want to be messed with. And it's normally not good for him to puff up with air anyway. But when they do puff up, they can puff up with air or water and they can't move around until they've deflated down. Now they've got a very square build. Sometimes these species are referred to as box fish because of that. And they've got those two little flippers that they kind of just flitter along. And they're a very slow fish. They actually propel themselves with their gills by pushing water backwards. And that's where they get a lot of their forward momentum. Now you're most likely to see these guys in little shallow water grassland areas like what you're seeing right here. Whoop. You're squirting water. And this is kind of where they hang out in these little grass beds. They can get about, goodness, three times this size. This would be considered an adult, but it's not very big. It's not a very large fish. They don't get massive. And it is okay if I take them out the water like this. A lot of people say you can't handle this fish. But the most important thing with this fish is that you don't remove the slime. They've got a very thin slime layer that covers their whole body. And that's what you don't want to rub off. So whatever you do, whenever you're handling this fish, is try not to grab it and squeeze it and pull all that slime off. And the fish should be okay. I can grab him through the net here pretty safely. And that actually protects him very well. This is a great little fish. They're mostly going to be out here eating little crustaceans. They actually pick off oysters, any kind of little hard shelled thing. And they've got a very sharp beak that they go up to and they will just rip things to shreds. Crab, shrimp, anything that they can get a hold of that's got a shell on it. And one thing that's really cool is they sharpen their beak with rock and coral. Now you might be wondering, is this a fish that you can pick up without getting spined? Are those spines toxic? And the truth of the matter is they're not truly a venomous species. However, they do have a slight toxin in their slime that when you do get spiked by those little spines, it's gonna be very irritating. Now watch here, I can actually pick this fish up. Like I said, they're a very slow moving fish. And as long as I don't rub his slime off, he's perfectly safe. Those spines are actually incredibly sharp and I can feel them sitting on my hand. I can see how this could spike somebody and them not enjoy it. And you can see, he's a typical fish. He wants to be in water. So I'm not gonna hold him above the water for long whatsoever. But whenever we let him go, he's gonna be doing perfectly fine back in these grass beds like he was doing before. Now some of the spines on it I'm noticing are actually sharper than others. The ones on the side are much sharper. And that would repel things like sharks, large aggressive fish like tarpon and jack ravel most fish would not want to where's the fish bite most fish would not want to eat a striped burr fish just as much as they wouldn't want to eat a porcupine fish 
or some kind of toxic puffer fish. Well, this species isn't entirely toxic and isn't entirely spine, they do have some of the best traits of both porcupine fish and puffer fish. And as cool as it would be to show you guys this fish puffing up, I would have to grab him and squeeze him and harass him. I've seen these guys puff up when you catch them. This guy just didn't do that. And I wouldn't want to go out of my way to make him puff up. So hopefully you guys can just enjoy this very spiny, adorable, derpy fish in his little grassland habitat. We're gonna go ahead and put him back into the water here, but if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to check out some of the other toxic species that we've gotten a hold of on the channel recently. And I will see you guys next time. All right, time to let this little guy back into his marsh grass.